Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here and what we're going to do in this video is focus on Todoist. <laughs> I know we do this a lot but Todoist templates is something that I haven't actually touched on yet which is a bit of a surprise. Now for me I don't use Todoist templates enough, uh, I think they're a great feature inside of Todoist and something that a lot of people that I know use across their day. So let's get stuck in on a short feature on how you can actually set this up. So first things first is create the folder that you wish. Now you can do this in an existing folder or you can do this uh, in, in a new folder. Um, but basically I'm gonna demonstrate how I can set up a template here for whenever I wanna create a YouTube video um, so that the context points are as easy as possible. So as you can see, I'll add you know, all of the information, so film to start off with, um, and I'll add all of the other context points like editing and you know adding in drafts and preparing the upload and adding the audio. As you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive list. You've got things like context points, you've got priorities, uh, you've got subtasks there. So you're probably wondering that's a bit scary when you're using templates because there are so many touch points here. This, this is a well-built well list, uh, for example. But the good thing about this is it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't really hinder you when you do that. So all you do is go into settings, export as file, click the relative dates because whenever you add anything, I'll show this in a minute, uh, it will basically take tomorrow as plus one day. But once you export, it will give you a download inside of the uh, Chrome browser or wherever you use. And all you do is go back to the, a new folder uh, if you want to save that there or a, an existing folder and all you do is go all you do is go into export um, sorry import a new template so uh, just add this one press X import from template and drag the CSV that they created there and it will go straight in which is pretty cool as I was saying a minute ago you can do this for um, those tasks that are specific to date so you know let's say you want to create that new video, um, but with plus, uh, like you want just extra dates added on, uh, then all you have to do is type in uh, tomorrow or the next day and it will come up. Um, the thing is with the Sunday and Monday, they're specific times, so they'll appear, but you just need to choose relative dates uh, when you're importing and it's a handy way to uh, make things as easy as possible. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. I'm looking forward to sharing a few more videos with you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're using Todoist templates. And I'll also link you up to Carl Pluyen's series about Todoist because he goes into much more detail about how you can use the Todoist templates for projects and jobs. So I think that's really beneficial for you. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments uh, about all of your experiences and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you. Cheers.